Okay, everybody, so we're going to go through the last month of DSP. So this is uh, from mid, uh, sorry, late July to the end of uh, August. So in, in summary, what, what happened is his channel got demonetized because for whatever reason, he had it linked to a different AdSense account than he used for KO Gaming and the King of Hate HD, or no, sorry, the King of Hate Vlogs. Why he thought it was a good idea to have a different account for, for his different channel, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me. But he did that, and then when he contacted YouTube, he's like, look guys, I made all these fake AdSense accounts. I know it's I'm not supposed to, and I know it's against terms of service, but I did it anyways. So I need you guys to like help me out of this mess. And they didn't help him for like a week, and then they did. I, it doesn't make any sense, but he got at monetization back on his channel. But let's, let's just go back for completionist's sake. All right, ladies and gentlemen, watching this on DSP Gaming, I'm Phil, obviously the person behind DSP Gaming. Uh, I got really bad news, all right? Now, last month, we had a scare where DSP mm -hmm. Gaming was suspended erroneously, and I got it lifted. Now, we got something that seems like it's going to be just as bad. Uh, DSP Gaming has lost the ability to have advertisements. I did nothing wrong for this to happen. Yeah, you did. You made multiple AdSense accounts when you weren't supposed to. I mean, he even admitted that. He, he called it a dummy AdSense account when he talked to YouTube. And that's just how stupid this guy is. Like, if I was in this situation, I just would have said, look, my uh, my AdSense is linked to the wrong account. Why why couldn't he just have said that? Why did he have to tell them that he gamed the system? I don't know, because he's stupid. There's a lot of backstory to it, and I don't really want to get into it in this video, but I'm... Yeah, the, the background is that you fucked up. It, it really doesn't have much to do with YouTube. Working with YouTube right now to try to figure out if there's any way we can get advertisements back on DSP Gaming. Quite frankly, it's not looking very good. Uh, this sucks because it's an eight-year legacy over four... It's not looking very good. Problem solved in two weeks. This is what happens every single time this dude has a problem. It gets resolved, like, very quickly, uh, but he gets to use it to beg for money from his fans. And his fans are stupid, so they give him money. It's it's pretty sad and pathetic. 40,000 videos on this channel that I've historically been able to monetize and make money on and literally doing nothing wrong overnight it seems to be getting taken away from me which is terrible it's bullshit i agree with all of you who've been longtime viewers and fans of mine here on youtube that it's garbage and it's not fair it's not um but in the meantime when this is being worked on i gotta do something right so number one i'm gonna continue to do my daily live streams over on twitch tv that's not gonna change you guys have been so supportive on streams recently that i really have to focus on that and i hope you guys will come and check me out on stream if at all you can but i'm very much aware that many of you can't do that you either cannot get to the streams when i'm live streaming or maybe you know for whatever reason you can't watch videos on demand or you can't watch stuff on I, I love how he says it like it's like a mystery or it's like it's it's unusual. You you can't watch my streams during normal business hours because some of you work for a living instead of staying at home and playing video games all day. So like you should have this on your second screen and watch him play video games while you're at work. Like even if I wanted to watch this dude, I could only watch him on like the weekends. Which he takes Sunday off. Like why does he take Sunday off? It doesn't make any sense. Because... He doesn't have normal business hours, so he could just take Wednesday or Tuesday or even Monday off. But people are around on the weekends during the day, so isn't that when you should do more streaming on the weekends? I don't know. It's it's just doesn't make any sense. And also, if he wasn't uploading them to YouTube, what would be the point of coming to his streams? If you're watching a narrative-based game, you're gonna like, and you miss like three hours of it, you're not gonna know what's happening in the plot. On Twitch, I get that. So in the interim. When all this is being worked okay. out, we're trying to figure stuff out. All right. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be uploading stuff to KO Gaming. You may be like, what? Oh, yeah, KO Gaming, the channel that I had back in 2016 and became very popular in 2016 for editing. No, it wasn't popular at all. You just had one, like, meme video that went viral. The rest of it got very few views relative to your theoretical subscriber Style base. Content. Um, including a video that has over a million views on it, but it's been dormant for over almost a year. I haven't uploaded a video to it since August of last year. What I want to do is test uploading videos over there and see if I upload gameplay archives and the like over there, if they'll get monetized and if everything's fine, okay? So it's going to be a test right now. What I'm going to actually do, I have two videos that I recorded today on stream uh, that were explanations of what was going on with DSP Gaming. So if you want a full skinny, those are going to go live over on KO Gaming momentarily. So go over there to watch those. I'm going to monitor them and see, will they be monetized? Is everything okay there? Or will they get auto-demonetized, which is what was happening with a lot of my content over there last year? And as long as things don't get... If that's the truth, which auto -demonetized, I Auto-demonetized, I think I'm going to start uploading my video, my game videos over there. 
Now, monetization is random, is really random, because sometimes they'll upload videos and they'll be monetized, and then they'll get demonetized, and then they'll get remonetized like an hour later. It, it is completely random. I mean, YouTube has to do something about it. It, it doesn't work. And that's the thing with DSP is 90% of the time when he complains about YouTube, uh, he tends to be right. Like, they tend to screw up in most of the ways he complains about. But he's such a freaking tool that it doesn't matter. It's still his fault, normally. Even if it is YouTube screwing him. Just because he's done something shady behind the scenes. All right. And play it by ear until we find out the fate of DSP Gaming, which I'm reading to hear from YouTube on right now. All right. So that being said... Things are in the works. I'll let you guys know if the best way you can help me, number one, would be to support via things like Patreon, your patreon.com forward slash dark side bill. Um, or if you can, head over to my Twitch streams and check them out. If you can't be there live for the streams, then instead of that, um, you know, uh, watch the on-demand videos on KO Gaming when they go live, if you can, we'll see what happens, okay? But basically everything right now is in flux. I don't know what's going to happen. It looks like DSP Gaming may end up being an archive channel, much like Dark Side Bill is, where it just sits there forever and you can watch the content, but I think no more. I love how he immediately gives up. He's like, there's nothing I can do, guys. I don't, I don't really want to. It would be effort to try to get it remonetized, even though it's where I make like uh, between twenty and and seventy percent of his monthly income, depending on which video he makes. Uh, but yeah, no, like uh, it would be too much effort to try to get remonetized, so I'm gonna immediately give up. Money on it, which sucks because I was actually making a significant amount of money every month on just the 40 plus thousand videos on that channel. I've done nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with the channel, but it seems like the monetization has been suspended um, or just terminated. And I don't know if there's any way to get it fixed, quite frankly. I'm trying, I'm working on that right now. Okay guys, so you want new gameplay, you want the skinny on what's going on, full-fledged story, head over to KO Gaming. That's youtube.com forward slash KO Gaming 1. That's the actual web address for it. And check out the videos when they go live over there. So this I, is I July 20th. For the first time ever, so... To see what Let's let's see how long it took. Hello the everyone, it's still here, and it's actually pretty. Oh, it took I two it. weeks. Oh my god, it was the end. It was the end of all things, but it got fixed in two weeks. And like he complains, like that they don't do stuff over the yeah, weekend. Very quick video and, here for those yeah. of you who have been watching my videos on Ko Gaming for the past three weeks. I want to say thank you to everyone who, in the interim of time when DSP Gaming was demonetized erroneously by Google, by the way, I should add, because they fixed the problem. It was completely on their end. It had nothing to do with me or anything I had done. Uh, but anyway, for those of you that came over here who subscribed to this channel and who watched the video content on this channel for the last few weeks, I want to say thank you very much for your dedication. Really awesome to know that even at a time when the normal channel was under a lot of problems, that you guys would still move over to a new channel if need be to watch my stuff. Makes me feel great. And I know that it was not easy. It was a pain in the ass to have to come here every day instead of DSP Gaming and going back and forth between the two to find out what was going on. The good news is, it seems like we are good to go on DSP Gaming. It was a few days ago. I got full monetization back on my channel. And so since then, the past few couple of days, I've been uploading exclusively to DSP Gaming, including Night in the Woods videos, as well as H1Z1. Uh, today, I uploaded both the premiere of my We Happy Few playthrough, which ended up being quite good near the end of the session that I did, and then Madden 19's Long Shot Mode, which is their story mode of the game. It was absolutely freaking hilarious. People were having a blast in the stream. So if you want to follow along with all of my new gameplay moving forward, please head back over to DSP Gaming at youtube.com forward slash DSP Gaming. Yes, that is where I will be uploading my gameplay moving forward because it makes sense. That's where I've got the most viewership. I've got the most subs. That's where I always wanted to be. I never wanted to have to jump from one channel to another because of monetization issues. That is a total error on YouTube and Google's fault. Um, but we're good now. You know, back to business as usual. But I will, just to, to clarify, keep uploading longer videos. If you actually head over there, you'll notice all the videos I've been doing the past two days are long. The We Happy Few videos are about an hour long. The Madden videos are about 30 to 40 minutes long. The Night in the Woods videos, I think, are over two hours long, okay? So I'm doing long sessions now. I'm not going to be doing the shorter videos like I used to do anymore. So if you want to subscribe to KO Gaming for the first time ever, excuse me. It's a benefit for you. It's not because I'm super lazy. I love how he's like, now I know the way I used to do things meant that people left my channel and unsubscribed because I spammed their inboxes, but like for the last 10 years, there was nothing I could do about it. That I couldn't just make longer videos because of reasons, I guess, because I think he used to get paid based on views, regardless of how long people viewed. And even when he wasn't anymore, he just decided to keep it the way he was going. I, I don't know. It's, he's just like, look, guys, if you told me this six years ago, I'm sure you 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 still watch my pre-streams. So if you watch my pre-streams and my videos, but you're not subscribed, so you wouldn't get this in your inbox, 
if somebody spreads the word and sends this to you, then come back. You guys can come back and, and watch it For the again. first time ever, because maybe previously you watched the videos over there, but you didn't sub because you knew that it was going to flood your inbox, those issues will no longer be a problem at all. It's always going to be longer videos over there from now on, guys and gals, okay? Also, I do want to mention that some of the playthroughs that were exclusive to this channel, for example, remember I finished up Silent Hill 2 HD on KO Gaming? I finished up Persona 5 on KO Gaming, but those playthroughs had started over on DSP Gaming. Over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to start uploading those videos to DSP Gaming, including right now, actually, overnight, I'm uploading. I'm going to say this once again, because he's going to complain in a later video that his new playthroughs make no money. Why doesn't he just upload half of his playthroughs to KO Gaming? Because he can build up, build it up over there. Because it doesn't have the same search engine optimization problems as DSP Gaming. So if he also it would be fewer videos per channel. So he uploads half of them over on KO Gaming. Uh, he starts to build up his subscriber base there. The more videos he puts up, the more views he gets. It builds up in the search rankings. And if something like this happens again, which it probably will, uh, if he has to go over to KO Gaming, it's much less of a painful switch. But people who run businesses don't think that way. So those will be live as of Saturday. Uh, August 11th over on DSP Gaming and added to that playlist so all the videos will be watchable in one single playlist. I'm going to do the same for Persona 5 and then eventually, basically every Saturday when I have a day off and I'm normally not uploading to my channels, I'm going to upload some of the videos from here that were on KO Gaming in the interim of DSP Gaming being demonetized. So in essence, all of the videos that were here on KO Gaming are eventually going to show up over on DSP Gaming, okay? But again, thank you guys very much for your support over here. I appreciate it. KO Gaming will still remain live as a backup channel if I ever need to do anything in regards to a channel uh you know to, as a fallback channel right and uh, in, in essence also if i ever start doing a different style of video if i ever decide for whatever reason to go back to the long okay so let us move along okay so the the ads are back so everything's going to be good this time guys everything's going to be great uh this is phil he's going to talk about how having ads back is fixing his pro he can pay all of his bills now he can cure his gout. He can cure his back problems. Let us let us go and see uh, him celebrating the best hey news guys, ever. Hey guys, Phil here making he a special uh, video for you because I wanted to let everyone know exactly how things have been going since things got back to normal right here on DSP Gaming. As you guys know, I wouldn't usually make videos like this for DSP Gaming, but we had a big deal. What are you talking about? You make videos like this all the time. Because you're too lazy to upload on the King of Hate vlogs anymore, because you don't get as many views, you started putting them all up here, where they get well, lost in your uh, upload about a month spam. Ago. In fact, it was a month ago, exactly tomorrow, from when I'm filming this video, when I lost monetization on DSP Gaming. And for two and a half weeks there, due to a Google side error, not because I actually had done anything wrong or was being punished for any wrongdoing, but because they made an error on their end. For two and a half weeks, I was not uploading to this channel. Instead, I was uploading to my other uh, channel, KO Gaming, which was still monetized. And a lot of things got thrown into basically haywire. A lot of people unsubscribed from this channel, stopped coming to this channel and watching this channel in general because they figured this channel was dead at this point. You know, very few people lose monetization. You said that it was dead, though. So that's why people thought that. Now he's blaming them for to listening back. to what because he in said. This case happened that it had nothing to do with me or any wrongdoing. It was them screwing up and fixing their error. Um, and so it was about a week and a half ago at this point now that I got ads back here on DSP Gaming. And I started uploading to the channel again. Now, the difference here between what, what used to be on DSP Gaming and what I'm doing now is very simple. I started uploading longer videos. If you guys haven't noticed or haven't been watching anything on this channel for the past week and a half, the videos are no longer 10 minutes long. You know, I used to only upload 10 minute snippets to DSP Gaming. I would upload a lot of videos to the channel in one day, sometimes upwards of 20 or more videos in a single day. And a lot of people outright said, well, we don't watch the videos on DSP Gaming or we don't sub to the channel because you have too many videos, it floods our inboxes. But there was a hardcore group of viewers who stuck with me over the years. They understand the reasons why I had to do those shorter videos, despite the fact that they all said we would love if you had longer videos like most other YouTubers. We understand the reason you do it, so please just keep doing it. We'd rather... There was no reason. It was just to cheese the system. And it dramatically... It basically made it impossible for him to ever grow. Because I've been periodically subscribed to his channel just to get updates. But I can't because it takes up like Absolutely. half of my inbox. Uh, so go ahead and make your shorter videos and we understand. But with the whole debacle of losing ad revenue, losing losing the ability to put advertisements on my videos for two and a half weeks, and then finally coming back um, after that time period and having adopted longer videos on the KO Gaming channel during that interim time, I said, I'm just going to keep uploading the longer videos to DSP Gaming. And so it's been an interesting experiment. I was curious to see how things would go. 
um, during this time period, and would things go back to normal? You know, during this year, week and a half now that I've been back uploading on DSP Gaming Daily, but doing longer videos, you know, right now my videos are on average, I'd say probably around 45 minutes long, although some of them were even longer. When I did my rage -a Marathon last week, the videos were like an hour and a half long each. So that's kind of what I'm doing here on DSP Gaming. Okay, longer videos so your inboxes don't get flooded. And by the way, I would like to say thank you to the few hundred people who have subbed to the channel in the last week since I started doing the shorter, or the, excuse me, the longer videos. They said, oh, okay, I'll so what you're saying is if you post five videos a day instead of 30, more people are going to sub to your channel. Like, once again, he says this like it's some sort of a mystery. It's the mystery that Scooby-Doo couldn't solve. That, um, I don't know. He's just, he's so stupid. And he acts as if, like, he's doing some big favor when this is entirely about him being too lazy to cut it up into that many parts anymore. Like, he's canceled pretty much everything he does except for raw gameplay. He canceled DSP Tries It. He canceled the weekend preview. He doesn't make vlogs anymore. He just doesn't give a shit about anything anymore. Except for begging for donations in a low energy now, way over at Twitch. And I do appreciate that, okay? However, what I now have is the initial results. I've got about a week and a half of revenue uh, data from YouTube on how much money I'm actually making on DSP Gaming. Now, compared to before... I went to the longer videos, all right? Also, there's another factor here to keep in mind. I used to be partnered first with Machinima and then with Curse. Now I'm not partnered with anyone. I'm running on my own personal AdSense account, and therefore, I have lost certain kinds of advertisements. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but in general, I'm not seeing many, if any, video ads playing on my videos at all. What I'm seeing is a lot of those banner ads, and those barely pay anything. Like, literally, for thousands and thousands of views on those things, you barely make a dollar. Um, really, the money is to be made in video advertisements on YouTube, and sadly... Yeah, I use a personal AdSense account myself. I've tried being partnered with networks a couple times, but I've just never liked it. Uh, for a number of reasons, I just prefer to have more direct control over my channel, etc. So I've always left whenever I've, I've tried being part of a network. But in, in his case, I don't know if I believe it that his ad revenue is that much lower. He lies about everything, so who knows. Okay. So here's... The initial data, sadly, I had to report to you guys, it's not very good, all right? So for a week and a half, I started uploading videos to YouTube again on DSP Gaming, only now they're longer. I am making, on average, from the numbers I'm seeing, anywhere from half to one-third of what I used to make. And that is terrible. That is absolutely god-awful, okay? 50% to only 33% of what I was... Like, and this keeps happening. Like, when the adpocalypse happened, he went down to half... Then when he joined Curse, I think it went up 10%. Then it went down to half again. Then it went down to half again. So we're at, what, like 5% of what he was making a year ago? Uh, it it, nothing this dude says Maybe makes any kind now, of sense. there's a lot of factors involved here. And I want to explain some of the things that could be contributing factors to why the channel has become way less profitable for me. And then I'm going to explain to you ways that you can help, okay? So why? Why would profitability on DSP Gaming have dipped so much? It doesn't seem to make a lot of sense that the same videos, only now longer, which is what people have asked for for years to the point where I got hundreds of new subscribers, I'm making less money. What's going on? Well, it's like I just said. Number one, I'm no longer with a partnership network, okay? So the advertisements I'm getting may not be as profitable. In fact, I can guarantee you... I, I don't know if that's how it works ex exactly. Uh, the one thing you do get with a partnership network is long, unskippable ads. The problem with long, unskippable, unskippable ads, though, is people will just leave and not watch the whole ad. So they're worth more, but they do more harm to your well, channel ads, and over a long term. Okay, that's just number one in general. That's the deal that's happening. And it sucks because, you know, it's not, it's not that I'm putting out lower quality content or worse content. It's just that I, I just don't get paid as much for my work anymore here. It stinks, right? Number two, it is the summer. We are in the midst of the summer months. And historically, July is the worst advertisement month on YouTube for the year. I think a close second would be January, but they're pretty much almost tied for worst month of the year. That is true. Uh, the summer is terrible. I think May, June isn't bad. But September, August, uh, October, November is very good ad revenue. So I'll have to remember to put out a bunch of clickbait drama videos once we start to get closer to Christmas. Because uh, it's when you make a shit ton of money. Uh, CPM goes from like a dollar a day to like six dollars. Sorry, a, a dollar per thousand videos to like six dollars per thousand videos over the span of a month or two. And remember when he gave, he complained, like he um he posted on his 
Uh, he left Machinima because his ad revenue went down in January compared to December. And it was low in January, low in February. Of course it's low in January and low in February. They're August, the lowest ad revenue months of the year. And sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. I've actually noticed, depending on certain years, sometimes you get a big boost in August and sometimes it just doesn't happen. Um, in this case, that could be the case where it's just a slow summer. There's not a lot of ad revenue to go around. Things were already slow when I was with Curse. Um, and now maybe they're just staying as slow. You know what I mean? Maybe things just have not picked up ad revenue wide. I don't know because I'm not with it. I, I don't have another channel with a network to compare results. You see what I mean? So I couldn't tell you if ad revenue actually is up right now on YouTube and I'm actually making even less than I'm thinking, okay? Um, the other thing, and this is the, a big factor that sadly I think is a big factor and needs to be addressed, is the fact that the videos are longer. And you would think, you would think at face value, it doesn't make sense. If Phil's making, was making 10 minute long videos, which I was, and one ad would play during each video, okay? So each view is an ad, right? Well, if Phil makes a 40 minute long video, as long as he puts four advertisements on that video, say every 10 minutes, then you know, the numbers say he should be making the same amount of money, right? I mean, four, four ads for a 40 minute video, one ad for a 10 minute video, it doesn't matter which you watch, you're watching the same amount of ads. And he talks about this later and he says it doesn't really work because while the first ad always plays, the subsequent ones don't always play, which is very true. I'm not sure why YouTube does it. I guess because they think people are going to be more engaged with the first ad. But but it is a problem with making longer videos I is the ads money, play right? less often. Well, I, I don't think necessarily that's how it works. What I've noticed is that with YouTube, with ad placement, that typically you only get one video ad per video anyway. So I'll give you an example. Let's say I uploaded an hour and a half long video of Street Fighter V the other day, right? They may play a video ad at the beginning of that video, but then all the other ads it plays during that video are those crappy banner ads that you make nothing on, you know, fractions of a cent per view. So really, when I made, it, let's say, for example, that same hour... Wait a minute, he mentions it here... And then, like, a month from, from when he put up this, or, or two weeks from when he put up this video, he said, I just figured this out. So, video, which, did, you did you figure it out here, or did you figure it out later? I had a I video ad that played at the beginning. That was nine profitable mm -hmm. ads that you watched, versus if you just watched the 90-minute video, you saw the one video ad and nine, ten banner ads, and those barely paid me anything. I think this could be a major factor, that the longer videos actually bring in way less ad revenue by default, because you don't get as many of the video-style ads on them, period. Um, and that's a major problem. You know, that is, that's a major problem that I don't know how I can fix because you do not have the ability on YouTube to pick what kind of advertisement you're getting. You can't say, I want five video ads on this video. You can't do that. You just, you can say, I want ads and, you know, I can place them around the video. But you... If he could, he'd have like five unskippable you never know what you're gonna get. You uh, video ads, ads, ads that, that are like crap, five you know? minutes each. And that's pretty disheartening because it's the same video. It's the same content. There's nothing that I've done wrong, right? It's the, it's the same view from you. You're watching the same video, yet, for whatever reason, I'm making less money. I think another factor could be that, sadly, people still have the same symptom as they used to with my videos. They only watch the first few minutes, and then they leave. Symptom, it's like a disease. It's not because you're boring. It's not because people don't like your content. It's not because you suck. That's that's the so, reason. Okay, the reason is the it's a disease the with okay, the viewer. Like, I'm gone. So if you only watch the first few minutes, you only saw one ad. So even though the video may say it has a certain amount of views, if most of those views only saw one ad, then it doesn't really help me at all, right? The longer video actually hurt me rather than helped me. Um, and I'll be very honest with you guys, I get the feeling a lot of you guys use ad blocker. Um, I don't blame you. I know that a lot of people out there use ad blocker when they watch content on the internet because the ads are terrible, right? I can tell you in particular, guys, if you watch my videos, the ads aren't very intrusive because as I told you, from what I can see, I'm not even getting the intrusive ads anymore. I'm only getting the big... I do not use ad blocker on YouTube. The only reason I use ad blocker is for sites that have like the pop up ads. So like when you try to like when you're on a news site or whatever, you try to click on another article and it just opens up an ad window. It's really annoying and I hate that shit. And that's pretty much the only reason that I use ad blocker. But in general, I, I don't really use it. I don't use it on YouTube. I pay for YouTube premium. So I don't, I don't see ads anyways, but I never used it because um, I think it would be hypocritical considering I run ads on all my videos if I were to block other people's. It's it's just the way YouTube makes money. It's the way content creators uh, make money, and I'm click to get ideologically screen, right? opposed to ad blocking. I guess if you're on mobile. So I would ask you this, guys. Um, what, what do I do for the future, and what can you do to help, right? I, don't, I really don't want to give up. I like making the longer videos. 
it is actually overall less work for me because I don't have to constantly be clicking every 10 minutes to stop and start, stop and start. And when I upload the videos, I don't have to now name 25 videos. I only might name four and it makes it a lot easier. I know it's a lot easier for you guys to not have your inboxes spammed. I know a lot of you are adjusting to the new, uh, the new method of uploads here and you like it. I've gotten lots of positive feedback in regards to that. I wouldn't have gotten hundreds of new subs if that weren't the case, right? Um, <clears throat> but I don't know what to do. I can't, I'll be honest with you guys. I cannot sustain my business taking a 50 to 75, it's not 75, it's about 60. 50 to 60% pay cut on YouTube. Uh, unless I get enough equivalent support via other means, which I'm going to talk about in just a moment, to make up for this big cut that I'm feeling, I honestly don't know how I'm going to keep things afloat. And it sucks because already this month, I, in the last month, I lost two and a half weeks of profit. Wolf. Wolf. There's a wolf. And I mean, this happens every month. Like every single goddamn month, he he bitches about it. Um, he says, "I don't know how I'm gonna pay my bills." He always pays his bills. He always gets a bunch of money. Like it's 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 nonsense. If this was really the time when he was screwed, then why should we believe him? Because he says this every single month. It's like when Ross says he's gonna get help for his pedophilia. It's it's never gonna happen. He just keeps putting it off. DSP's never going to go bankrupt, and if he does, then there's no way for us to know, because, now, like I, I said, he's lied so force, many times about everything else. To 30% of what I used to, that is atrociously bad. Um, and I'm nervous. I'm going to be very honest with all of you. I'm very nervous, because here we come again. We're coming into the it hardcore is. gaming season, right? This is the time when things pick up. Historically, ad revenues are big. What if that doesn't happen for me? What if here on YouTube, hardcore um, gaming nothing season. changes, and things just stay kind of stagnant the way they are, um, and I don't get that extra money that I rely on every year, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, it's just a really nasty situation. I Basically, the good news is that I avoided, in the short term, a really bad... What happened to the tax situation? He hasn't mentioned the tax situation in, like, a couple months or, like, a month or two. Is that meme just, like, over with? Is Did that whole thing just somehow get magically resolved and he doesn't have to pay taxes anymore? Uh, it's just weird because like choice. these things just disappear down the memory hole, and then they're just the never mentioned again. That I was gonna have to make a really bad choice for myself personally when it comes to credit and things like that, and my finances and everything. Um, I don't want to lose my house. That's kind of the last resort here is having to sell my home in order to make some money on the equity I have in my home to pay bills and make do. And and you know, right now it would be such a pain, major pain in the ass to do that because my studio, right, my office is a studio where I record out of every day. All my equipment is here. If I'm moving, I can't work. So if I start to, if I even try to sell this house, I can't work for extended periods of time. So where's the fucking. Extended periods of, like, I've recorded on my laptop. He can just record, like, anywhere. It, like, he can just go to his living room and record. I, his job requires, like, less setup than just about any job. Just, just, if you need to, just, I don't know. He can just do it. Money gonna come it from doesn't make any sense. It house, makes right? absolutely no uh, sense. He's just full of shit. Uh, a lot of people is hilarious. Phil, just move back to Connecticut. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Somehow I'm going to get my car magically across the country for free. I'm going to somehow pay for a move across the country for free. Um, Kat's going to quit her job, apparently, and f magically find a job in Connecticut. Wouldn't, wouldn't the money from the house selling it cover some of that stuff? I, I'm not even going to go into how selling his house would resolve a lot of his problems anymore. Because I've, I've said it so many times in the past, and he's just never going to do it. He's going to have... The police are going to have to drag him out of there when he goes bankrupt. Mm -hmm. um, again, because of things that are out of my control. What happened this year that screwed me over? Gee, let's see. I lost my partnership with Curse. It was an amicable parting, but I did lose it. It wasn't my choice. Um, and that has nothing to do with anything I ever did wrong. And now I lost my advertisements on DSP Gaming... Uh, for two and a half weeks, and now I come back, and now everything's down, and it has nothing to do with me doing the wrong. In fact, it's the opposite. I'm doing what you guys wanted. For years, you wanted longer videos. I'm giving you those now. For years. That's why he had no growth for years. That's why his growth stopped. Well, that and deleting all the pre-streams, which, to be fair, actually wasn't his fault. But, no, like, it, oh, it's it wasn't. In general, like, here's the thing. I'm looking it's, at a video. It's, I'll give you guys it's a bullshit. Example. It's, I'll give you guys he's a just a liar. Here, okay? Uh, part one of any one of my playthroughs typically brings in the most money of any part because it gets the most views. So I'm looking at, for example, part one of certain playthroughs like We Happy Few, um, Madden, uh, amongst other you know recent things that I started here on DSP Gaming. 
the videos are bringing in the same amount of money as they used to. So, so when I used to make 10 minute videos, for one 10 minute video, I bring a certain amount of money on part one. The part ones of these new playthroughs are also making exactly the same amount of money, but their videos are five, six, seven, ten 10 times as long. In content, but a longer video should be making way more revenue. It's not. The profit has dipped dramatically on these videos for some reason. Why is it that part one of, a, of that used to be 10 minutes, with one ad on it, was making the same amount of money as part one of the new video series that's an hour and a half long, up this month um and you know and people are, are are contributing and being nice you know so i can't really complain uh in that regard so yeah you know thank you guys for all of your support is all is really what i have to say there you know i made a video for youtube last night and once again people misconstrued and take it the wrong way hey guys phil here making a special uh video for you because i wanted to let everyone know exactly how things have been going since things got back to normal right here on dsp gaming as you guys know i wouldn't usually make videos like this for dsp gaming but we had a big dilemma mm -hmm. uh, about a month ago. In fact, it was a month ago. Except you do you it all know, the time. Uh, last month, I lost all ad revenue. It was actually one month ago exactly. Let's skip ahead a bit. And a lot of things got thrown into basically haywire. A lot of people unsubscribed from this channel, stopped coming to this channel and watching this channel in general because they figured this channel was dead at this point. You know, very few people lose monetization on YouTube and are able to get it back. It's just in this case, it happens that it had nothing to do with me or any wrongdoing. It was them screwing up and fixing their error. Um, How do you so know? It was about a week and a half ago at this point now that I got ads back. No, it ads, was you. It, and I started uploading to the channel again. Now, the difference here between what, what used to be on DSP Gaming and what I'm doing now is very simple. I started uploading longer videos. If you guys haven't noticed or haven't been watching anything on this channel for the past week and a half, the videos are no longer 10 minutes long. You know, I used to only upload 10 minute snippets to DSP. And if I want to get through this, just like I always have, I want to get through this, right? But there's these people who just hit okay, my let me jump still ahead surviving? A bit. How is he still able to be here in 2018 and still be pertinent, and still have an audience, you know? Um, so, hopefully, things do go all right, um, you know, but I wanted to make a video about it, and of course, every time I do now, people just complain, 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 and, and insult, 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 instead of actually, uh, you know, just listening to what I have to say, because I'm trying to be transparent, and the bottom line is, if I wasn't transparent, then people would complain. These fucking people. <laughs> so it is what it is. The true fans understood the video. The true fans get it, and I appreciate that. So the thing is, guys, even though we're on stream, and I'm telling you about this, understand, you guys have been doing outstanding. You guys have been cheering, subbing, and tipping. You guys have been, uh, you know, buying my merch in particular teespring has been doing pretty good things are so if you're if you're a youtube fan fuck you you don't support me you're scum but if you're a twitch fan then that's okay the youtube fans are detractors though uh because they they watch my videos and that's that's just not enough anymore you gotta give me a, like, you gotta give me money. I need more money to pay my bills. Every, every couple days, I've been making a sale. Um, and things have been going good in that regard. So, you guys are, are awesome. You cheer every day, you interact with me, it's awesome. I love this interaction and everything that we do. Larry, I almost feel that positivity coming back again. Um, so I can't, I, you know, you guys are all are, are cool in that regard. I can't come here and say, go, go higher, go, help more. I, I can't. I, I would feel, I would actually feel like shit if I did that because... What a fucking liar. He never feels like shit to do anything. He just, I don't know, he just begs for absolutely everything he's ever done. So, this whole, I would feel bad, guys, if I ask for more money. Right. It's just like such crocodile you, you can't nonsense. let that all be taken away by a negative. So, thank you for great streams. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the positivity. Let's keep it going. And like I, like I told you guys, the ultimate goal here is to make it so that my Twitch grows to such an extent and I end up making enough profit on Twitch every month, it doesn't matter what I make on YouTube. If I have a good month on YouTube, great, that's just icing on the cake, right? But the goal here is to grow the Twitch, and I think right now what I'm doing this week, between playing games that you guys have wanted to see for a while, like Dark Souls 3 and Street Fighter 5 and Scarface, and playing a new release like Shenmue, I think this is the way that I can bring people back. I know. What are you doing? Ugh, my cat face! <laughs> Christ. Hi. Hey, mister. Hey, you mister. Want to Oh, time, okay? uh, I don't want to go to jail for the rest of my life, kid, so no, I'm not going to wrestle you. You keep uh, throwing your hands up in the air sometimes, though. Holy shit. <laughs> kid, do I look like Michael Jackson? <laughs> hey, ah, a creeper! Call the police! Call the police! You got a kid in there? This is quality I content. To tell my mommy. Sure. Okay. Oh my god, it's a, it's a human fetus! It's alive! Ah! Is this your kitten? Ah. Uh -uh. That's why I'm trying to separate myself from the goddamn website, because I'm tired of it. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, 
Thank you very much for ten awesome years, and I mean that. You know, ten years of my wow, life. Wow, this is this is uh, unbearably basis, horrible. You know, eight years of my life as of well, I think I've had seven mm -hmm. years of my life already, and eight years as of February next year. I'll be doing this for a living. Oh, I want to say thanks, guys, for all your support, all the opportunities that you guys have provided for me for the past ten years as a content creator. This year is my tenth anniversary as a content creator. I hope that someday I'll get out of it. I don't know if I ever will. I may be I may be living month to month, paycheck to paycheck, begging for fucking tips and shit on stream for the rest of my life. I appreciate every moment of it. You guys are very awesome, yeah. supportive, even with all the sh negative shit, toxic kids out there who literally are only there to tear down because they can't do anything productive for themselves. Yeah, they God, God his camera's bad. Me. Okay, so let's move on. So, so DSP is having major financial problems. Everything's going bad for him. So he's he's tightening his belt, guys. He's gonna he's gonna be he's gonna tighten his belt. Um, he's gonna just focus on paying off his debt. That's that's gonna be his goal. Okay, he's gonna skip ahead. Come on, you can load. Fuck you, YouTube. Whee! Oh. But yeah, don't worry, guys. He's gonna he's gonna tight. He's not gonna do any more frivolous spending. Okay, he maybe bought two new cars, but. He needed those. He deserved those two no, new. He needed them for his business because yes, playing video PS4 games online requires, requires having expensive year, cars. It just kind of does. Me and teasing me and kind of saying they were going to do it and never did. What? Uh, um, mostly, I get the feeling most of them were people trying huh? to kill me. Quite frankly, uh, someone who is a very generous person who, who prefers to remain anonymous is is uh, donating a PS4 Pro. And you know what? Some people actually at this point don't believe me anymore. So I am getting PS4. So a PS4 Pro is five hundred dollars Canadian, but I thought he was broke. I thought he didn't have the money to pay his bill. So like, what's going on? Where where did this this money come from? Somebody's donating him money, and he can't use that to pay off credit card debt. He has to use that to buy a PS4 Pro because he needs one for some reason. Like if I traveled my days out or whatever, like if I traveled my days out or whatever, and they wouldn't leave it because it was too valuable of an item. So they're supposed to be redelivering it tomorrow. Now, in addition to all of that, once the PS4 Pro is here and set up. Um, there's potential that maybe I'll be upgrading something else in my setup. I don't want to get too ahead of myself here, but there's potential that, yes, I will be upgrading something else in my setup as well to go along with the PS4 Pro. I see so many people blindly following others, no matter what. So, he went on and he bought the 4K TV and he bought the, the PS4 Pro. So... I don't know. He thought this was a good idea for some... I, I don't know. He spent like $1,000 on new new equipment. Uh, I don't know where he got the money. He just... He had the money. Oh God, so apparently his financial situation I isn't that bad. He's a I massive liar. Again, Let's continue. Because someone... Uh, I was... I'm basically the person who... <clears throat> uh, who donated the money to, to buy the TV. This is... Um, snap, so why is he recording himself ordering a TV? Word. I don't <laughs> get it. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, it's it's the it's the TCL four series, forty nine inch. Let's see here. I turn this up. No, that's the highest it goes. Why am I, I don't know. It just looks like shit in general. So. Why am I it's a, it's a DSP video. Found out after doing some research over the past week. Oh wow, my that's god. That's a really oh long intro. Oh okay, my let's god. go on. Uh, regarding YouTube and the fact of why, as I told you guys a few weeks ago, my ad revenue is so low on YouTube now. Hey, I'm not making ad revenue. Wah. Um, The bottom line is that after doing some research, I talked about this on my pre-stream today on Twitch, and I actually explained the whole situation, and the Twitch viewers were like, you should make a standalone video for DSP Gaming on YouTube so people on YouTube understand what's going on too. That's 100% a lie. Because it doesn't only affect you, this is actually something that could be affecting everyone. Okay. Ah! The King of Hate Forum! <laughs> okay, so here goes. People have right. to tone it down um, with the memes. There's the just too many you guys of them. Know, uh, I lost all my ad revenue on DSP Gaming for about three weeks back sometime okay. in July. 
And Here's didn't the come deal. back until early August. This was not my fault. This was an error on Google's side. Oh my they god! Had labeled my channel as invalid click activity when there was none. No, it was your fault. It was a hundred percent your fault. Go to my partner channel, the King of Pain HD, and click on the ads that show up on the videos there. Because hopefully, mm -hmm. you know, fingers crossed, that actually starts giving me some some money back for what I'm doing. I mean, it's not cheap to do what I'm doing. I bought a lot of games, a lot of equipment, and now I have my own condo, which is basically my studio to do whatever the hell I want. And then after three weeks of mm -hmm. dragging their feet, realized their mistake and removed the flag, and I was able to put ads back on this channel, all right? Fuck no. However, in the interim that I was not using this channel, I started recording and uploading much longer videos mm -hmm. to YouTube because you guys have been asking for this for years. It's YouTube's fault. You've been saying, Phil, you upload way too many videos. They're too short. No, that wasn't <laughs> the reason. The reason is you're just so lazy as fuck. Inboxes. Uh, we have to watch it. A lot of extra ads and basically you know we don't like it we don't want to sub to your channel because if we sub to your channel every day our inboxes get flooded with your videos and it's annoying to have to watch a million it used to be whenever he did fighting game coverage as he calls it he would tell people to unsubscribe for that week and then resubscribe because he releases all his fighting like game one, fights you know, as individual two, videos day, so he put up like 40 50 videos a day okay i really do but you guys have to understand that my business model always was upload shorter videos right so there is a lot of positivity going no on you behind don't the, scenes. the problem is all the work that i put into this 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 entity this it's not a business it's because it's not i don't own a business i don't legally own a business anywhere and make them more digestible to the viewer because my content is raw, unedited gameplay. <laughs> he does own a business. For like tax purposes and government purposes, they do. I own a business, technically. I list um, whatever I get in ad revenue and donations as small business income. And I deduct expenses I have, like gameplay, this microphone I'm using. I will put that on my it's raw game tax game. revenue, right. my uh, income tax over receipt. the years, people complain, complain, complain. <laughs> These fucking people. And finally, after you know years of people asking for this, when I wasn't basically <clears throat> making any money on YouTube. Like, I get it. Taking criticism is hard. Um... Because oftentimes, if like if you ha if you accept criticism on this one, you have to accept that you were doing it wrong the whole time, and that's a very hard thing to have to admit. Because um, I've had that with how I used to record shit, and I've tried to improve the recording quality. I got a new mic. I play around with settings a bit. I do occasionally edit stuff. I know it doesn't always look like it, but it's it is difficult to kind of retroactively. Oops. On admit that you did something videos. wrong but now, a many, he just takes it out of his fans and yells at him like a baby he is a baby weeks ago and this is no lie um basically subscribers have gone way up every single day i'm getting more and more positive subscribers this has not happened in five um years. no What's the, the difference between a positive a subscriber and a negative subscriber? Are those like, exactly. is that like a box to check on YouTube? I don't know. Depending on what game I play, and in particular, if I upload too many videos in one day, for some people's standards, they'll unsub, okay? So, it's always been like that. I've been around like 180,000 subscribers on DSP Gaming for like five plus years, and it's never gone up. Now, By I'm everybody's standards. Consistent growth in subs. In addition to that, there's a, a statistic called engagement on YouTube. What that means is how long someone watches a video on your channel. My engagement has doubled, meaning because the videos are longer, you guys are watching longer. And now the statistic is showing that basically engagement is up by by 100%. That's good. That means that my channel now is in better, uh, more positive graces with YouTube. And in particular, if you search on YouTube, search for DSP Gaming now, you can actually find my channel. This actually didn't used to be. You would search for DSP Gaming, and you get a million detractor videos and negative things about me. If you go to YouTube general search, all you're going to get is bullshit. If I try to look up your videos on YouTube, detractor vids always come up first. Makes no sense. <laughs> no, it makes sense because YouTube search algorithm. Uh, let me let me look at. 
uh, what videos are, are top. Because mine used to be top. Actually, the one that I did that got like a thousand. Let me see how high mine is. I've had to periodically like private it and unprivate it, which kind of is the reason it's not higher. Yes, there we go. Okay, so mine's in like the top page or so. Uh, let me see if I have multiple ones in the top. Okay, I just have the one. The Rise and Fall of Dark Side Phil. So, yeah, that is, um, let's see here. Detractor video, detractor video, detractor video. Um, detractor video. Yeah, these are all detractor videos. I try to see Wait, if there's any of these now that um, are like actually first, um, no I don't think so changes, longer videos higher engagement now my channel shows up in search okay so there's been a lot of positives around me making my videos longer however I've noticed since I started doing this you know a few weeks ago my ad revenue is in the toilet I'm making less than half of what I used to make on DSP gaming with ad revenue and maybe a little bit and now I went and this sucks because I know how he feels because my ad revenue has been fairly static unless I get like a, a video that gets me a whole bunch of views like um, my Yandere dev then I'll make some extra money. But it's been I've been making about the same ad revenue for the last three years despite my number of subs growing and views going from like 200 a day to like 2500 a day. And that's because ad revenue rates just keep going down. Like if I was still making uh like the cpm from like two years ago that Money i was that making I today bills, right? then that, that would be a lot better but uh that's bills. not the case it's um, it's massively so decreased I did some research trying to over out time why it is, and i figured it out all right here's how i figured it out <clears throat> last night i was watching one of my own videos and i watched it on my television which has an app uh, in it for a firefox browser and if I need to watch a YouTube video for whatever reason, that's how I watch it because it doesn't have any delay or desync in the audio or whatever. I thought he said he didn't watch YouTube so videos. He said he doesn't watch any other creators. He doesn't watch played. detractor video videos. Of course he does. He watches them constantly. It only played one advertisement. But here's the thing. For these longer videos that I've been uploading to this channel... I'm putting in several ad breaks. In a 40 minute video, I typically put in three to four advertisements in it because that's about the equivalent as if I had broken that video up into say four videos and each video had one ad on it. I need to make the same amount of money so I do the same thing, I put four ads on that 40 minute video, but they don't play on my television. And I'm like, huh, I gotta test this theory, what's going on? So then I went into the YouTube app and I tried to watch one of my own videos on the YouTube app. And again, only one advertisement played. Only one. Then I went into the browser on my iPhone. And I played the same exact video. That time, two advertisements played. One, in, one at the beginning of the video and one in the middle. But not four, two. So then I went on my desktop computer. And I played the video. And guess what? Four, four advertisements played. So what this means, ladies and gentlemen, is that in 2018... I mean, it could be. I think that's theoretically the, the maximum number it can have. It's dependent upon how many YouTube has, how many people are buying. There's a limited number of ads that they have to give out. I don't think they can fill every possible ad break. But um, a general issue I'm sure they have is uh, the amount of content and the number of people who are uh, using AdSense is going up while the number of overall ads is not increasing as fast so that's why cpm keeps going down right. uh because people can be a lot more discerning uh, in where they put their ads they can put them in better places for less money on anything but a pc if you're watching on a mobile device if you're watching on an app or something you're not actually seeing the advertisements that i need to pay my bills oh, i had to pay my bills i had to stay afloat it sucked it's stupid they basically don't know what they're doing much like how they fucked up and took away my ad revenue for three weeks for no reason because it was their own error. YouTube being so fucking stupid. Well, in the, you know, five, six years that everyone has started watching everything on mobile devices, they never improved YouTube to actually run ads properly. So, it's ridiculous. I, re I actually remember, it was like 2012. 
they changed the entire channel layout on YouTube and made it look like shit. Do we know that everybody only watches things on mobile devices? Uh, let me just go to my analytics. Let's see. Let's do a little experiment and see what percentage of my um, my views come from it. Okay, load. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. What would that be under? Traffic's uh, playback locations. So DSP's contention is that all views come from mobile devices. So let's see here. Does it have a playback devices? Okay, so it, it is more than I thought it was. All right. So mobile phone and computer are about the same with tablet and TV coming after. Okay, so it's more than I thought it was, but it's still not like everybody. Um it's still a much lower percentage. Let I me mean, just look at operating system. Windows. Yeah, Pull Windows than away. Android. It's like, everything has to be but yeah, right it's, it's not... We want things to display properly on exaggeration. mobile devices. That's great, but then they never implemented ads properly on mobile devices. So you got people like me, right? <clears throat> Sorry about being so frustrated. Who used to... Uh, I used to upload a ton of videos, and every video would have one ad play... It might be just not as many ads are optimized for mobile. Like you can probably use mobile ads on desktop, but maybe like not everybody. Cause I know people who have used um, ads okay. and a lot of the time the ad is just for desktop. For Cause it, it's well, a lot, now you have to do a lot of really videos. different things to get it for also mobile. Tops. Now every video only gets one ad. So basically I'm literally shooting myself in the foot, making these longer videos because YouTube sucks. And they're awful employees who don't do their fucking jobs. They have not figured out in five, six years how to make ads run properly on apps or mobile devices. And the majority of you guys probably... Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I don't doubt that, that Google doesn't know... Well, not that they don't know what they're doing, but that they're doing a crappy job on this, but... He sucks at his job, too, so it, it's kind of like pick your poison. Do we go with the incompetent YouTuber guy who has no idea what the hell he's doing, well, or do we go with the company that has no idea what, what he's doing? At least they maintain a site right? that's I, I at least somewhat that's functional, that's unlike your finances. Well, it, it is, but... As, as we saw here, it's, it's what, like, um, it depends on the day. Some days it's more PC, some days it's more mobile. It's, it's roughly 50, 50, you know why mobile's so high? Because I don't normally have video. A lot of people will watch my, will, will just listen to my stuff. Like I have a lot of, um, viewers who will tell me, and I'm not trying to be like DSP, but because um, I know there's definitely I could put more effort into adding like video or whatever. But a lot of people do tell me they like my format because they listen to me like talk while they're doing something else, like while they're cleaning. I had a couple people who listen to me while they're gardening, while they're driving in their car. Uh, something like that. So that's probably why mobile's so high. Whereas if it was more of a visual medium, uh, I'd imagine it would be higher for a uh, computer. So just kind of something interesting to think of. For my work, because I just decided to make videos longer, which is apparently what YouTube says is better. All the metrics are positive. You guys are going to be positive feedback, but I'm making less than half as much money as I used to because YouTube can't fucking do their jobs. Ziggy Piggy did a cheer. So is it because of that or is it because of Curse not giving him the better ads? Or is it both? Because he goes back and forth. Like I don't think he mentioned Curse in this video. But he's previously yes. me, said that's the reason he's making less money. So. That could, could have destroyed my 10-year legacy, taken away my living, my livelihood. Because of an error. Not because I did something wrong, because they fucked up.
That's the core thing we need to focus on here today, guys. I didn't do anything wrong. My channel lost monetization because someone did something wrong on their end and then took two and a half fucking weeks to act on it. No, but you, know, you had else, multiple AdSense accounts for no the reason. Day, and I made a major mistake. And it took me two and a half weeks to correct the mistake. I would be fired. But not at Google. At Google, this is a regular occurrence. And they, the other worst part about it, there's no one to talk to to fix the issue. Not once did I get to... Speak with a human and say, hey, person who works at AdSense... Well, you could say you the guys, same thing no, about his job. If he acted here, this way at any other job, he'd be fired in a week. Right? Um, and people basically say, you know, oh, well, they're just too big. Well, that's their fault. I didn't tell Google, I didn't tell YouTube to grow at an exponential rate to the point where they didn't plan for it, didn't hire enough employees, didn't prepare, and now their entire company is a shitstorm because they don't have enough to handle the capacity. That's their fault. Not mine, not yours, not anyone's, but theirs as a company. And they're the ones who need to be held responsible. and need to fix their own shit. We That's your fault. You created the monster, and now you're saying the monster the too, is too powerful to control. Big, well, fuck you. That's your fault. What they fucking signed up for. Mm -hmm. So, stop being an apologist to this company. They need to improve. If we don't demand improvement, they never will improve. Okay? They call me Jim Bob says three cheers for Mitch. Hip, hip, hooray. No, how about three boos for Mitch? Boo, boo, ka -choo. Because guess what? He didn't help me at all. No, literally not a single thing Mitch did fix this situation. It was all me. It was 100% me. It was you. He literally, like, went into the Google, like, the YouTube office. Having an issue. He, he took the computer ah, away from Mitch and he hit the button. Ah, how, if it was 100% him, how did he get the... Uh, I don't know, it doesn't make any sense. Do we have playtime? Do we, re we do fucking, you know, Pilates and we push invisible objects and we meditate? Because we're Google and we're smart and we're going to have all this cool thing on YouTube like paid subscriptions to get rid of ads. Grrr. Once again, screwed by YouTube because of the incompetent people who fucking work there. Um, so what does this mean moving forward? Uh, does it mean that I'm changing back to the old style of shorter videos? Right now, no, I'm not. I am going to continue to wow. make longer videos. Uh, well, here's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that over the next few months of the hardcore gaming season with all these new games coming out, that it will bring more people in, more people will subscribe to the channel who never did before because they realize I'm only uploading longer videos now. Hopefully more people will come and watch hardcore me. Gaming push season. my channel up higher in search rankings on YouTube because of higher engagement, and I'll get a natural influx of viewers again like I used to. I used to get many many people coming to my channel during the hardcore gaming season because of all the new releases when i tell the full story people are like that's really what happened yeah that's really what happened but people don't want to say that they want to make up shit, right and i would get a big increase in no you didn't a that's a lie hey because of that no. i haven't had that in the past three fucking years all right so maybe this year i will get it again i don't know i'm hoping for the best i'm hoping no you wouldn't So he he realized that the way he was yeah, doing saying, things was you know, hurting his I channel for the last three years, YouTube, but he didn't um, do anything until now, and he only did it now because he was too lazy again, to do it the way he was it'll, doing. It'll even out, you know what I mean? Okay, I'm making less money, but I'll bring in more people, and therefore it'll even out, and it won't be a big deal anymore. But worst case scenario, will I may eventually maybe have to go back to the shorter videos? Maybe I don't know, uh, because right now this really sucks. I'm literally leaning on Twitch now in order to make ends meet and pay my basic bills every month. And I am lucky that the last two months I did see a very positive uh, support from Twitch, but I don't know how long that's going to keep up. And I can't keep leaning on this group of people who only come to the live streams when I know there's thousands of people over here on YouTube who can help out, all right? So please, guys, if you at all can, if you want to see me continue to keep uploading the longer videos to DSP Gaming... No, you're going you gotta to. you got to do something. you got to try to step up and help me in another way, all right? Because I am literally shooting myself in the foot doing these longer videos, but I'm doing it for you guys. Because it's like, what the fuck? Are you retarded? Yes, you are. Because you blatantly lie. This is what you want. So if you could help me in another way, I would appreciate it. All right. But the bottom line is spread the word. Let people know. 
YouTube does not properly display advertisements on any. Let people know it's it's your job. You created the monster, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So this brings us up to the present day. This was just posted today. So in in short way, it's your fault that Google doesn't know how to do their jobs. It's not Google's fault that this asshole had multiple AdSense accounts, and he didn't just use his existing AdSense account that he used for Ko Gaming. And like it's it's not it's it's not his fault that he lied to Google. No, he told Google like that he violated their terms of service. I don't know. Nothing this dude says makes any kind.